I have been so looking forward to you meeting Patty and Dusty here on his radio. You might remember a couple of days ago on WYFF News 4 that there was an amazing story about a young man, and he decided, you know what, I don't want my Christmas gifts. I want to do something different. Patty is mom. What was that that your son Dusty wanted to do? He wanted to, he actually asked me, was that tree still at that place? And I said, what? What, what do you want for Christmas? What does that have to do with a tree? I, you know, he said, no, is that tree still at that place? And it took me a few minutes. And the year before, we had been to the Charles Lee Center for some testing on him. And um, they had the angel tree there. And he wanted to know about the angels. And I explained it. And he wanted me to take some then, but I wasn't kind of financially able where I could do it. So this year, when I asked him what he wanted for Christmas, he said, I, I don't want anything for Christmas. Take my ho-ho money, and let's go get angels off that tree. And how do you say no to that, you know? Mm -hmm. So we went and got, um, we got three angels to start with. And he said all he wanted was mail. He always wants mail. He always tries to fight me for my mail. And um, I'll hand it to him, and he knows that his name's Dusty and not Patty, and that's not how it looks on the paper, so he doesn't want my mail. So I went on my Facebook, and I told him, you know, Dusty wants mail for Christmas. Can y'all help me? Because I can't mail him but so many letters. And um, my friend Casey decided she was going to make him his own page. And I told her no, and she did it anyway. And... Um, we went from there. We went. I told him when the first time we went to the post office was four days after we put the post up. And I told him, I said, you may not get anything. He said, if I get one, that's all I need. Oh. We had 94 the first day. Wow. So, and it went from 94 to, we had 6,587 now in 15 days. you got to be kidding. Yeah, really? We, post, we posted it December the 2nd. And last night's count was 6,587. It's not even the 20th yet. No. And you brought <laughs> some of those from yeah, around did. the world. These aren't just yeah, local we have, folks. We have one. Uh, well, we have, this one's Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. Um, Colorado. Tennessee. And North Carolina. We have one from, we have one from Japan. Um, the lady said there's one from Germany. She sent me a message last night and said it was on the way. Um, Australia. Austria. We finally got, we have all the states except Washington, D.C. I don't have one from there. Oh, but he's man. got them from everywhere else. And I mean, California, New York, Georgia. I mean, there's like hundreds and hundreds from there. Even to the point where the other day when we were reading them, the postmasters at the post offices that so many are coming from, they're sending him a card and everybody in the post office is signing it. Oh. So it, it's, it's really neat. Dusty is incredibly uh, special. And I know something happened at birth with Dusty. Yeah, he had a stroke at birth. Um, and then after that, he had viral meningitis. And he was in uh, the NICU at McLeod in Florence for almost three weeks. We couldn't, I couldn't even touch him until he was two weeks old. If he touched him, he'd have a seizure. Mm. And it's just been kind of a battle, you know, up until then. They, he wasn't supposed to walk or talk or anything. Everything they said do, they, they couldn't do. We just tried a little harder till he did it. And he's doing it. Yeah. You're doing it and giving Dusty, you're giving your Christmas gifts away, man. That is just incredible. How do you feel about getting all of these Christmas cards? That feels right. I know, right? You got a big smile on your face, too, knowing that many people <laughs> love you, man. We wanted to do something special for you. So Chick-fil-A heard of your story. And so they, they thought, you know, he gave up his Christmas gifts. Let's do something for Dusty. And so, Dusty, we have for you a couple of Christmas gifts yeah, from Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A of Haywood Road in Greenville sent over this cute little stuffed cow and a water bottle for you. So we wanted to give that to you. So that belongs to you. That's from Chick-fil-A. Do you, do, you, do you eat chicken at all, you Dusty? Like you like chicken? Yes, sir. Yeah? He really likes chicken, Patty? Yeah, he likes Chick-fil-A. Oh, really? How about Chick-fil-A for a whole year? Yeah, they send you Chick-fil-A yeah. for an entire year. Oh Look, That's this. free Chick-fil-A Chick for a whole year. For so whole take year. those cards. Those you know, are for you. you say, let's go to Chick-fil-A, and I say no. Now I can't say no. <laughs> you say, here, I got it. For the, whole, for the rest of the year. And in the next year, in 2015, that's for you. Uh, monster trucks. You, does your family like monster trucks? He does, yeah. yeah. I, we yeah, heard I you like cars. Yeah. So, so the fine folks at the Bon Secours Wellness Arena have given you two tickets to the opening night of Monster Jam coming up in January. He's been wanting to go to that forever and I want to take it. <laughs> really? Well, you're going now. So now Merry Christmas. Go. How do you feel? Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, is it true you guys have never been on a plane, or at least Dusty's never been never, on a plane? Dusty's never been on a plane. Never mm. been on a plane? Nope. I've been on a plane once. Really? Would you like to be on a plane? I mean, just once, would you like to go on a plane, Dusty? Yes, sir. I'd like to be on a plane. Would you? 
We, we have our friends from Charlotte, Dream on Three. They, they help make dreams come true. This is Brandon and Elizabeth. If you look at the TV screen right next to you, that is Brandon and Elizabeth that are on with you right now. And, and, and Brandon, do you, think, do you think it's possible to get Dusty on a plane? Rob, at Dream on Three, we think anything is possible. So can we make that dream come true for we Dusty? We would love to make that dream come true. We would absolutely love to put Dusty on his yeah. first plane trip. Would you like to fly, Dusty? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> okay, would he really like to fly? Because we really want to put him on a jet plane. We're talking a big jet plane here <laughs> in just a couple of days. We'll put you on that plane right after Christmas. Where do you, uh, Brandon you know and Elizabeth, said? where uh, do you think mm -hmm. these guys should fly to? You know what? We were looking at it, and we thought, why not, if he's going to be on his first flight, why not fly to Shreveport, Louisiana? Oh. Louisiana's a pretty cool destination. You can yeah. see where some of your cars came from. <laughs> the, cool. His cars mm -hmm. come from Shreveport, Louisiana? Yeah, he's got a few from there. So, okay, so I guess it's just like they're going to stay overnight or something like that. Do you guys have, do you have any friends in Shreveport where you can stay? No. No? <laughs> Brandon, what can we do about that? Rob, what if we threw in some... Hotel stays for the for a couple nights. Is that all right? Can you, you guys like to you stay in Shreveport about? a couple of days? Yeah, that'd be all right. Would you? Okay. <laughs> so on a plane, Shreveport, Louisiana, at a hotel. Is this like a Motel 6 or something, Brandon? No. No, no oh. Motel 6. What would it be? This is going to be a very nice hotel. And matter of fact, there are going to be some special guests at this hotel. Who would that be? The South Carolina Gamecocks. Okay. Wait a minute. Are you guys Gamecock fans? I'm not. I, I am. You are? <laughs> you love the Gamecocks? Show me your shirt. Oh, come on. Let's see, the, let's see the oh. shirt. He's got the shirt on, man. <laughs> Look at that. So you're going to be staying at the same hotel the Gamecocks are at? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brandon, why are they in Shreveport, Louisiana, anyway? The Gamecocks are going to be there. I don't know if you, you know this, but they are actually going to be playing in the Duck Commander Independence Bowl. Oh, dude. Is there any way, Brandon, the Dream on Three can make a dream come true and maybe Brandon oh and Mom can go to the bowl? See the game? Can we make that dream oh, come true? Uh, <laughs> Absolutely make that dream come true. You're going to the game. Yeah. Going to the game. Yeah. What what kind of seats? Like nosebleed or something? I mean cheap seats where? No, that that's not how we do it at Dream on Three, Rob. At Dream on Three, we, we only do the best. He's going to be, thanks to the Duck Commander Independence Bowl, he's going to be right behind the South Carolina bench. Oh, dude. Hey. <laughs> do you realize where you're sitting? He does right it. He behind. does it, but he, we won't get there. Oh, my word. Right behind. You're going to see the Gamecocks. You're going to be right there behind them. And there's kind of like festive stuff that happens even before the game. I think so. We uh, Matter of fact, what if we added another piece and we put Dusty in the pep rally the day before and put him on the float and let him participate in the parade. No way. You understand what they're doing to you? No. Dude, no. you're going to be in the parade. You're going to be in the parade with the gang cops. And I'm going to have my Clemson shirt on. <laughs> she said she's going to have her Clemson shirt on. Dude, oh God. that is awesome. So the parade, what else can, what else can happen there, Brandon? Thanks to the Duck Commander Independence Bowl, we've got one more surprise for you, Dusty. Not only are you going to be at the game, you're going to have pregame field passes. So you're going to be able to be on the field with the players before the game. Dusty. Hello? <laughs> Dude, you gave your Christmas away. Mm -hmm. People all over the world are sending you Christmas cards. And Dream on 3, Brandon and Elizabeth, is making your dreams come true today. Dude, that's just phenomenal. Yeah. You gave away your Christmas, and no look what, what the love on. of God has done for you, man. Look at that. Uh, uh, We're going on an airplane. We're going to Louisiana. Mm -hmm. We're going to Louisiana. We're going to play football. We're going to hang out with him. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Yeah. How does that make you feel, Patty? I'm speechless. I'm not going to cry. I'm not. <laughs> well, I, I'm kind of am right now. That is amazing. I bet, dude. Uh, <laughs> Dusty, we love you. Dream on three. Brandon and Elizabeth making your dreams come true. They love you. Thank you all so much. You are welcome big oh time. Thank you. You're welcome. We can't wait to meet you, Dusty. Can't wait to meet you. <laughs> Get ready for that plane trip and enjoy that bowl game, man.
The conversation continues on Twitter. Just use at His Morning Crew.